Now, some, uh, some causes of failure in these expansion bellows we see quite often uh, the two predominant ones would be torsional misalignment. So what we most often do with these bellows elements would be to fit them up with a pipe flange like you would see on this piece of equipment. When the bellows is fitted up, if the bolts can't slide easily through the pipe flange, that means that it's going to twist the bellows uh, torsionally. If it's twisted torsionally, it won't last, it will fail. There's no two ways about it. They are not designed to have torsional twist. So if you go to fit your bellows up and you can't get those bolt holes through, you've either got to revisit your pipe, make sure it's, it's, uh, it, it's properly configured, or you can use smaller bolts if, that, if that'll work, or drill out the bolt holes. Whatever you've got to do to get that uh, torsional misalignment sorted out. The other thing uh, that, that, that we see is angular deflection. Uh, and that is, if this bellows is mounted in, in this plane and it has a long length of pipe with a bend and it's coming down this way, this length of pipe up here will grow. And it'll grow a lot more than what people might think. We're talking about a piece of pipe that, that, that's holding temperatures up over 500 degrees C. So it's not uncommon to see uh, growth of 10, 12, 20 mil in these, in these pipes. So what happens, these bellows have a flow liner in them and if there's too much angle of def uh, deflection, the flow liner ends up scrubbing on the inside of the bellows and it'll chafe through. So if you've got a bellows that's, uh, that's got holes inside it, more than likely you've got too much angular deflection and that angular deflection is causing that bellows to fail. So fit your bellows up properly, have a long life with them, they'll get their full maximum cyclic life and happy days.